This one's fast and loose. It's called So Sorry, Baby. There was snow on the ground, and we were fighting, and whenever we reached a lull, I would try to focus on the snow, which annoyed me, but less so than the public spectacle we were making of ourselves. By the time we hit the subway, all that was left was the red coals of the argument, and I begin to wish for the snow again to cool us off completely, because now your eyes weren't so jagged, sharp, exclamation point, accusing as they were just tired, alone, pleading, type ringed with condensation and just pleading with me to forget it already. But my eyes were brick and mortar, tight caged and trapped and bound like a monk's lips under a vow of silence. And even seeing you go to that texture of flower petal mush, they were O Pharaoh and Old Testament biblical with the divine right vengeance because you knew how much I hated to make a scene. But by that point, we were in it together with the lines like lightning flash cue cards just swimming through the electroshock clouds and we couldn't stop ourselves. But by the time we hit the basement crammed hash joint of the Orient in Chinatown, I felt a bit better sucking ginger garlic snails out of their shells and methodically stealing hunks of your eggplants. And by the time we got home, we'd both forgotten about it completely and made love until we thawed ourselves out and then made more love for the hell of it. Then you fell asleep. And I felt the hot air exhaust from your nose beating a slow motion, lugubrious Morse code on my collarbone, as if you were trying to send me clandestine communiques from your dreams. I found this so sexy at the time and wanted to wake you up for a possible encore of the earlier business of thawing out because all of a sudden I had snow on my mind again. But I let you sleep and thought that somewhere bundled tight beneath your silk and heaven eyelids, your eyes would be like soft sand beaches in Mexico, or pure mink under the charm of thrift store magic, or fingers through hair on fresh cut grass after the baseball kids go home, and the moon finally decides to show that perfectly ugly, toothless grin of his, and shit. To this day, I can't even remember what the argument was about in the first place.